Well, we've got to make a lot of decisions in our life, big decisions around health, around wealth, around relationships. And if we don't take responsibility for making these decisions, if we don't get smarter at making them and be savvy about our own thinking, um, potential errors, and also the ways that others can be tricking us into certain behaviors, well, we're just going to be victims of futures that others dictate to us. So if we want to be empowered, then we have to become smarter at making decisions. Well, when I got really interested in the question of how can we improve our decision-making skills, I looked into the economic literature, the behavioral economics literature, and also the literature in neuroscience, in psychology, in sociology and history around decision-making, because I wanted to tease out some lessons that we could all use to be smarter. But I also interviewed some really, really smart decision-makers in the world from presidents to ER doctors, from the um, guy who bought Harry Potter when all the other publishers had turned it down in the US and the UK, um, to Dick Zanuck who produced um, Alice in Wonderland and Jaws. We make 10,000 decisions every single day, 227 just about food. So a lot of our decision making um, kind of cognitive prowess is if we're not careful, taken up with trivia. Um, so one challenge that we have is really to park the decisions that don't really matter so that we can focus on the ones that do. President Obama talks about how he only wears grey or blue suits because he doesn't want to be distracted by the trivia. Well, for the fashion conscious amongst us, that may be going a bit too far, but I think you get the point. Um, in a confusing world such as ours, a complex world, we need to be saving up our brain power for what matters. Um, we've also got to deal with this digital deluge that we are now confronted with. I mean, the amount of information that we have to process every single day is really unprecedented. Just a weekly edition of the New York Times has as much information in it as somebody would have had um, in their entire lifetime in the 17th century. So we're having to kind of consume this unprecedented amount of information. At the same time, we're getting distracted in ways that we never were before. We've got emails and texts and posts and tweets. And we're having to manage all of that as well. And that is bad for decision making. Because what we see is when you um, monitor people's cortisol levels, their stress levels, in this state of continuous disruption that we're essentially in, um, it makes us tunnel visioned, it makes us blinkered, it makes us less able to see all the options around us. So that's another challenge that we have to overcome in this digital age.